More than 40 years after a mother's murder, her suspected killer is off the hook. We will probably never have closure. Only on Cairo 7, the prosecutor's mistake stopping her family from seeing justice. Now, prosecutors say because of a technicality, they are left with no choice but to drop the charges against Tommy Ross Jr., even though they say he confessed to strangling a Port Angeles woman back in 1978. Camera 7's Gary Horker has been tracking this story for more than a year now, and Gary, this family believes he is literally getting away with murder. You're talking about one devastated family who got terrible, terrible news, and we came out here to Kitsap County to get the reaction of the victim's sister. She's been waiting 41 years for some sort of justice. She knows prosecutors in Clallam County have been working very hard to try and bring this accused killer, Tommy Ross Jr., to trial, but the victim's family was just told prosecutors are out of options to bring this man to justice. He took something away from us that wasn't supposed to be taken away. For Pam Horky, the memory of finding her sister Janet murdered in her Port Angeles apartment 41 years ago seems like yesterday. She was the nicest person you ever meet. But yesterday, prosecutors told Pam's family they're dropping the charges against 61-year-old Tommy Ross Jr., even though police say he confessed to Bocut's murder and they have evidence to prove it. Two appeals courts ruled Ross's right to a speedy trial were violated. Just last year, a Clallam County prosecutor told me he was confident he could get a conviction. You believe you have a convincing case? Yes that would put him in prison for this murder. Yes. Ross was 19 when he was charged with strangling bow cuts. But months later, prosecutors in Clallam County allowed Ross to face another murder charge in Canada for strangling 26-year-old Janice Alley Forbes in Victoria. Ross was also the prime suspect in the strangulation murder of Bethel Wooldridge in L.A. in 1977. But before Ross could be put on trial in the U.S., he was sentenced to 38 years in a Canadian prison. Last year, a Clallam County judge set Ross free, saying his right to a speedy trial was violated because he was away in prison for almost four decades. I hope nobody else gets hurt, nobody else gets murdered. Um, that's a genuine concern of yours. That's a big concern of mine. I don't want anybody else to lose somebody like we did because it's something you never get over. Back live here, this mugshot is Pam's only comfort now. It is Tommy Ross's mugshot in Sacramento, California, because he's recently back in jail, now facing charges for allegedly trying to kill his family or allegedly threatening to kill the family that he was staying with with a knife and then breaking a cell phone when they were calling 911. He's in jail without bail, so he might stay there for a while. Janet Bocut's family is hoping that even without a trial, people will not forget her. And we're live tonight in Kitsap County. I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News.